Hello, contact friend. Glad to see you again. I'm in the garden right now. You could see a lot of plants on the back. Over there, there are some casuarina and some other plants as well. And today is a bright day. And you could see that here is a ficus microcarpa or tiger bark ficus. That uh, I made it from a cutting long time ago. And it will be the topic of our presentation today. So we will see what is the step I've done to get the shape like this. So I hope you'll enjoy the presentation. Ficus retusa or big leaf microcarpa that locally called Ypri was a very popular as a bonsai material in Indonesia. Anyhow, in early 90s, a smallest ficus microcarpa was introduced to Indonesia by Taiwanese. That tree was called Kimeng. Since then, Kimeng becomes the most popular ficus material in Indonesia. It is very easy to propagate ficus microcarpa. You can do it by cutting and the percentage of success is almost 100%. I put a slab under the cutting material just to encourage the root to grow horizontally. Five years later, the plant already grew thick, so I took out of the pot and made some correction on the root. I split the thick roots into two or three and then I put some pebbles in between. Five years later, or in the year 2010, the three already grew big. Anyhow, I saw that uh, there are too many branches, so I'd like to reduce some of the branches to make it better. I cut two big branches, one on the right close to the root and one on the left. Afterwards, I put some cutting paste so that it will heal quicker. I took it out of the pot and then cut the roots. Afterwards, I put it again in the pot with a new soil mix. It was the shape of the plant in 2018. On January 2019, I got an Indian student named Sonu Yadev. I asked him to practice some wiring and pruning on this tree. Besides of that, he also did some reporting. On March, all the leaves have grown. At that time, I asked Sonu to cut off the apex. The purpose is to make the flow better and also getting a better tapering. To 
This was the shape of the tree at that time. This one side is almost done. So I'm going to cut just a little bit success uh, branches and twigs and we'll continue with wire a little bit wiring with rod. Also I'm going to change the I'm going to change the pot because this pot is too long and then gonna change it with a shorter one and probably a novel pot or a singular one and a little bit a little bit deeper pot will be better for this one and so I think it could be nicer For the time being, uh, it is already wired and this will be the position of the tree more or less and anyhow, I think it will be nicer if it is tilted a little bit from the side to make the, the, the balance on the tree better. So it will be like this and then later on I'm going to change the pot and make it a, a little bit shorter, the pot will get a little bit shorter. So let, let me do the, the potting. The tiger bar bonsai is now on the pot. I think it is well proportioned with the tree. You could see that the neighbory was quite exposed and nice. It was like the tree of a ficus on the white. And also the trunk line approaching to the top is quite nice. They are tapering and also with a very nice flow. Besides of that you could see the good distribution of the branches. They are a bit widespread and it is just to imitate what happened to the banyan tree in nature. I think it is worthwhile to create a banyan tree from a cutting and it takes time but the result is quite nice. So I'm so proud with my tiger bark bonsai. Thank you very much for enjoying the video and I hope to see you again in the next occasion.